Okay, baby. Today I'm playing Half Life 1. Today I'm playing Half Life 1. Just dealing with my old CD. Just dealing with my old CD still. Just need to do it again. And again. It is recording, isn't it? Yeah. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Okay, I've got it this time. So, um, last time we collected our stuff here. Uh, and so there's stuff to collect in here as well. Looks like explosive ordnance and heavy weapons and sniping ammo and whatnot. And here we have a towel cannon, which we've already got, so we don't need to collect it. And, uh, seems like we're full on everything else as well. And it seems like we have no need for this women's perfume up here, doesn't it? I mean, I'm on my way to a hazardous, um, I'm on my way to a highly dangerous alien dimension, so why would I have need a perfume, eh? So you can keep that perfume here for keeping the place smelling nice and all, and I'll be on my way. I'll just collect the, um, long jump module here. As you so fancily call it, as you so fancily name it, and it allows us to jump long distances. See? Isn't that quite nice and fun? We Okay Barney, you said you'd come and cover me, so let's go. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Yes, sorry, but we will so, what's the best weapon for us to do this with? After all, I know what's coming. But I won't spoil the surprise for you, baby dolls. I'd say the revolver and, um, and the bee gun, yes. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh, this is some kind of a scanning device, it would seem. And... For the first time in my playthrough, I'm going to accomplish what I've always wanted. To get my health. To get my health and my armor at 100%. Yay me! I've wanted to do this since the early parts, like back in the on a rail chap back during the on a rail chapter. And so, um in we go as we wait to for us. Hello, Freeman. Friend. I'm up here. Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up. As we wait for our scientist friend up there to fire up the uh, transporter to send us to the alien dimension, wouldn't this be a nerve-wracking wait in real life, eh? But at least I can have fun long jumping with the long jump module like so. We almost fell there, I think. See, I'm so fast with the long jump module that 
Bonnie, right. just I can change. open the portal now. The process is complicated, and once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? Yes, sir. Uh, Try to prepare for combat. Be ready, Barney. Show us that manly heroism of yours, I show us God. They're coming. Oh, my mouth's on fire. Oh, they're harder to kill here. It's all oh, no, the shooting at the scientist. Can't have that. His life is just as important as my own in this situation. Oh, that was a good show, wasn't it? Hey, don't shoot the scientist, I need him alive. Oh, uh, what a hit, glass smashing there isn't good. Oh no, the scientist is in pain. Can't help him get hurt. Yes, I will. It's almost done. We're almost fired off with the teleporter. Yes, is Barney still alive? Yes, he is. That's... Oh no, he's been killed. I'll try him again before it goes forward and one jump wasn't working. That's just ridiculous. Um, it must have been the lag or something because you can see how expert I am with the long jump module, can't you? Um, I'll try um, the um, fly gun a bit. See how that does against these flying monstrosities, eh? The bee gun, oh, I almost fell then. These are stressful times, aren't they, baby dolls? Oh dear, they're coming. Okay, fire! Fire, stupid mouse! Yes, this isn't bad against them. Oh, what's happening? Get both of the scientists getting hurt, Dan. That's not good. Well, I think I'll go back to the revolver. Oh, what was that sound I heard? Mouse is clicking again, come on, fire! But maybe I just need to stay where the science is, I don't know. We're almost there, Come on, fire! Come on! Still, at least they all seem to be occupied by me. Rather than focusing on the scientists, that's good. Oh no, he's getting hurt. He's doing like Homer Simpson, that's not good. Oh no, no. Get in there, yes. And I didn't waste much ammo either, I didn't lose much health. <gasps> what is this place? This is the strange alien dimension where the aliens have been coming from colloquially known as Zen. Seems like they're producing power here in a strange extraterrestrial like way, doesn't it? Maybe they're similar to our cooling towers and power plants on Earth, eh? Who knows, in this age of treachery and deceit and duplicity, especially when you're in alien worlds, eh? And this jump might look scarily far away to reach my sentence, but we have a long jump module, uh, so we're able to get across, yes. He seems like you only just made it without your dangling off the platform, doesn't it? Oh, there's a force over there. Can't have him shocking us, can we? So goodbye. Fire. Fire. Yes, there we go. There we go, baby dolls. Might be prudent to switch to close quarters weapons for these narrow platforms, eh? for these little platforms. And it's quite a nice touch how this man's leg is dangling off the edge here, isn't it? Never noticed that in the past, funnily enough. And yes, as Gordon Freeman... 
as cold and free when we're wearing a hazardous environment suit similar to this. But funnily enough, we um, aren't wearing the helmet part of it in the title screen. It makes you wonder if, um, if you know, technically we are wearing it in the game, but it doesn't show it in the title screen, just so we have the identity of Gordon Freeman, doesn't it? Hey? After all, you'd think we'd need it for the sake of breathing and maybe um, protecting our handsome faces from the rigours of radioactive poisoning and poison dirt, uh, that kind of stuff, eh? that kind of nasty stuff. Okay, let's make this jump, which I'm a tad nervous about. Wee! Oh, yes, just made it. Oh, hold on. I knew you should have had to check it out. I know this how I you too. Where are you? Scooby Doo, where are you? There you are. Alien Scooby Doo, but I'll call you Scooby Doo nonetheless, baby doll hound. I. Time to make another long jump. Wee! Yes. Aren't I skilled? What's that sound? Oh, it's these electrical alien power generator type things getting all fired up at my presence, trying to um, impress me with me being um, an alien to them. And time to make another falling jump. Hope I won't, hoping I won't get hurt too much, hoping I won't fall to my death as well. The nerve-wracking experience having these electrical charges all around me. At first I thought it was one of those flying manta ray type things breezing past me. Like there was a chance it might have, um, you know, started blowing things up around me and hurt me in all kinds of terrible ways. But that isn't the case, baby dolls. I'm not afraid of those um, overgrown flying manta rays and now we're low down enough that we can fall on here without getting hurt. I've done, uh, I did that really well compared to what it was like the first time I did it so I think it was like falling to me death all the time. But what do we do when we're on here I wonder with nothing to see, nothing to do. Nothing within our immediate visual range to occupy us and pique our interest. But the last is little platforms on the edges here, pointing outward into the great unknown, isn't there? Well, yes, um, let's take a risk, shall we, and fall down onto one of them. Hope we won't get hurt too badly by unseen alien assailants which might be waiting on the platform for us to take that plunge, eh? Yes, let's take the fall now. We Oh, that hurt. I didn't like it. I don't like getting hurt. Ooh. Ah. As you can see, but did that actually hit me, that turret thing there? <clears throat> I don't know, but it's threatening me nonetheless. So, um, let's take it out, shall we? Well, what could be the best thing to take it out with, I wonder? David, it's over to you. Um, yes. In the past, I've seen people take it out of the fly gun, I believe. But, uh, but even if we didn't have any effect against it, uh, we did notify the presence of the hound either uh, by, by having the flies target it as they bounced off this turret here, didn't they? And it pains me to use the revolver, but... I am a born risk taker after all, and we'll probably find more ammo for it, won't we? So let's go. They're tough, but they're destructible. See? And we can't have them hurting us close up, can we? 
let's see if uh, I'll, I'll let it hurt me just to see how um, how much damage they do. Come on, shoot me! Oh, shoot. Doesn't do much damage, but now they uh, fire fast, so. Actually, I don't really want to use too much um, revolver ammo, so um wonder what we can use. Crystal, maybe. I feel like I'm pointy at this, haven't we? And it's only really useful for long-distance shooting. And that didn't take anywhere near as much ammo as I thought it would. From the pistol. Pistol isn't as weak as we often believe it to be, is it? Uh, oh, 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 don't you be trying to sonic attack me with your malevolent sonic wa sound wave sound eyes. I don't like it. I like my human constitution just the way it is, thank you. And here, here we come across the first Xenian healing pool. You see, here in the border world, Zen, even the water has healing properties for us humans. As you saw my health go up just then. By the way, oh, okay. Yeah. By the way, I wonder if we can um, spray paint inside the water. Yes! That's nice, that's a nice touch indeed, isn't it? Ba oh, there's a turret there that I didn't notice. Could have shocked the life out of me there if I didn't notice and I was closer. But it's nice that we can spray paint on the water like this, isn't it? Making our human presence known here on Xana in the border world. Amazing how this special water even allows our spray paint to work under it, isn't it, a eh, baby? Yes, another weird alien turret for us to take out, so let's get to it. We can see the dust and the, and the debris coming off it, so we know we're hurting it, or at least damaging it, eroding it, I suppose you could say. Chipping up the very substance of its being. And, ooh, these, um, apparently these light, these light plants are these flowers of light, whatever you want to call them. They fear us, which is why they turn off and crouch and cower when we get close. But the first time I ever saw them, I freaked out when they reacted to our presence in such a way. It almost seems like they're pointing at us, doesn't it? It's threatening us in a way. But no, apparently they're just scared of us, so let's just let it be. See, they're on the ceiling and everything, aren't they? Talk about being eerie and scary and malevolent looking. Seems like they have stars here in Zen, doesn't it, as well? I wonder if this is like a kind of vacuum. There's a hound eye. And here, this is like the Xenian um, resin of web-like materials, which uh, we were having to destroy to progress through overgrown corridors in, in Black Mesa sometimes, wasn't it? You know, those parts of it which were um, being altered by the Xenian creatures, the as they were, like, trying to terraform the place and make it more suitable for their living quality of life, I Yes. I do think it's a shame killing cow dies, which is why I'm not going to kill it by surprise. Who knows? Although, there is, um, a turret by it, so I wonder if... You the hound eye. Oh, you know what? I'll just 
kill the tur destroy the turret from a distance and who knows maybe the how die won't maybe it'll be the world's first friendly how die eh? Guess not. Still Maybe it will not bother us now that we've wounded it. Oh, and that's just running around this circular thing and it's going to try and take me by surprise by... Gets it off, where is it? Oh, it did try to flank me. It tried to smarter than they look, those things, aren't they, eh, baby dolls? So take that. I don't feel as bad about killing you now, hound I? So now we've cleared the perimeter of this place, haven't we? We've um, secured the perimeter, I suppose you could say. So let's break up this webbing, this resin. It appears to be surprisingly rocky, funnily enough. Isn't that intriguing, Sonny Jim? I guess you never know what you can re expect when you're um, invading an alien place, an alien's place of residence. It would appear there's nothing here. I thought this was the way to proceed, but there must be more than one of those little alcoves in this circular type place that I remember. And here we have it. You've got to check every nook and cranny sometimes, haven't you, eh, baby dolls? <laughs> Isn't this eerie? Are we in some kind of meeting place here or something? Intriguing. I mean you no harm. Will you be my friends? I can jump on top of them. But they appear to be moving slightly on top. Do you appreciate my presence here as I stand upon your head? Baby doll, alien octopus type thing. I can get on your head as well. The bigger, taller one. The leader of them, maybe. The leader of these three. Oh, it's hard to tell which one's the biggest, as it says. Maybe this one? I'm gonna jump on all three of their heads because of my OCD and because I'm a completionist. Intriguing trees, Batman. Well, just enough dilly dallying around the place. We've got work to do. Oh, and another round of theorizing first. Uh, to people who have played Half-Life 2 and have encountered the Striders, the Strider members of the Combine Military Collective, I wonder if these are like organic versions of the Striders. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's even bigger ones out there that we never see. And maybe the Combine cut off some of their legs. To, to, uh, maybe the Combine decide that they only need three legs rather than five. And who knows? Maybe the Combine even give them some kind of alien steroids or something to... Um, make them grow gigantic and then fit them with uh, very large pulse guns and um, tell them to attack and kill all those earthlings when 
They invade our earth. Who knows in this day and age of all manner of alien intelligences wanting to conquer and enslave humanity? Eh? Anyway, it's time to solve the puzzle here so we can transport out of here using this strange alien technology here. That's the way we came in, I believe. As I see no other holes in the walls. So, I believe, do we open these first? Yes, we can open them. And they seem to have strange glowy dots in them. Intriguing trees indeed, Batman. And they seem to bounce off of them. And you might have noticed these strange avian butterfly-like things encased in this webbing or resin, whatever they want to, whatever you want to call it. Eh? They have a strange diamond-like shape to them as well, don't they? You can just call me the extraterrestrial version of David Attenborough, I suppose, with how fascinated I am as I convey to you my sense of wonder regarding alien wildlife here in Zan. Well, let's set them free, shall we? Seems rather inhumane to imprison them like this after all, so... They're flying all over the place. What could they be seeking to do, I wonder? Oh, oh. They're charging up the power pods here. So that we can beam out somewhere. Oh, spikes coming to the Better get out of here. Go on, Oxler. This doesn't sound very good. I don't like that sound. Oh, no, sorry, Bob, I don't. Pretending I haven't heard it before. I come in peace. I mean you no harm. Oh, it means me harm, though. Time to run. Oh, no, I don't want to be with those uh, tentacle-like things. They scare me. Okay, I'm guessing the big hanging appendage to your body is your weakness. After all, it bleeds. And if it bleeds, we can kill it. Can't we? All these little tiny newborn head crabs are so freaky. The way all they, um, the way, oh, I heard a splat. I don't like that. Don't chase me either. I don't like that either. Oh, you your legs are clipping into me. I don't want to be part of you. No, sorry, Bob, I don't, and my mouse won't fire either. Come on, shoot! I almost feel guilty attacking this when it makes these pain sounds. Oh, there's a lot of newborn head crabs all over the place. Don't you be spraying me with your bodily juices either. I don't like that. Oh, oh no, I'm trapped. I'm stuck. Get out of me, you know. You just splattered me. Come on. Whoa, what's going on? I wonder if I should use something else. No, uh, I'll actually save my good stuff. Those newborn head crabs make a lot of noise compared to the others, don't they? Anyway, because I've got them on my tail, I say we best perform. We best call the herd a little bit, shall we? Stop coming at me, baby head crab rolls. I don't appreciate it. 
So I'll just um, feed you to my little pet alien flies here, eh? Whoa, they're attacking me. Well, they could have moved for a second. What? How did I switch over to this? I don't want to come in one gun out yet. That's too much of a good gun to use on you. How many more of them are there? I think that might be all of them. Can't see any more coming at me. So is there anything here for me to collect now that the um, golden arc seems to have retreated temporarily? It respects my authority, you see. A healing pool. Let's hope I don't die jumping over to this. Hey, let's go. Wee, yes. After all, if I fell, I would fall forever into the never-ending Xenian abyss, the never-ending Xenian void. Because it's devoid of all things, and that's scary indeed. Time to do our usual trick of spray-painting the watery pools. Just to let people know that we were here with our happy, optimistic presence. Time for us to try to jump back over her again. Oh, that makes me feel like I'm a superhero when I do those long jumps like that. Makes me feel like a highly skilled individual indeed. Still don't like how much armor I lost, though. Oh, it's hard to get over these, isn't it? Still, there's nothing else here, it would seem. So let's press on. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else here to see. Although I imagine I'm getting low on the revolver rounds now, so I wonder what else I could use. Wonder how many bolts. Ah, I've got quite a lot of these, but no, I won't use it yet. I know, I'll try some rocket launcher ammo. And I'll also try the... I'll... I'll... I'll, I'll um... Try the crossbow with the uh, rocket launcher, yes. Okay, let's get to it. Battery power, along with another corpse from one of our scientists' compadres here. I don't appreciate you turning out the lights when I'm doing my studies of the surroundings here. I really will give you something to be scared of if you don't cooperate with me in future. Yes. Okay, let's press on oh, to a loading screen. It's running away from us. Maybe now it will be peaceful to us, eh? Oh no, it's giving birth to more. Oh, oh, it kicked me into the air. Oh, fire. Oh, oh no. Oh, you don't mind coming, um, sharp crossbow. Oh, that, that's the uh, baby head crab just body checked me in the air. Oh, I'm almost dead. This isn't good. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, I died. Okay, that's it. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Time for the rocket. Oh, no. But not when I'm close to you, though. And I'm dealing with my OCD while trying to change weapons. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, oh, no. I don't want the baby cat crabs uh, in my rocket, so oh, yes. Come on, I'm guiding these rockets into it, by the way. 
Oh, the sound of it running got me is scary. It sounds like someone playing bongo drums. Oh yes. Now there's another big... Oh, he can run across the grating, but i fall. I know it. Because it's happened before. Fire! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Don't stab me tentacles. I don't like those shenanigans. Those stabby McJenkins type shenanigans. Don't do it. Wee! Still, I can put good, respectable amounts of distance between us. With all long jumping, oh, but we can keep up rather well, or she can, should I say, since she appears to be the matriarch of these baby head crabs here, doesn't she? And I imagine that now the baby head crabs will be trying to kill us and come after us again, now that she's gone. And yes, they're coming at me still. These little flaccid spidery type looking things coming at me. I don't appreciate that one bit. Knowing my look, they'll probably be down there too. Anything up here for me first? Oh, I see a little alcove there. Maybe if I can jump onto these alien octopus type things. Then I can get up there, eh? Oh, yes. But well, that's probably a way down into this central pit here. And as you can see, this place was littered with all kinds of potholes and traps. Intending for us to accidentally fall into them while we were fighting that monstrous creature which has run off again. Leaving us be for the time being. So. Let's um, head on in, shall we? Fall down there for the supplies we need. Oh, oh the hex uh, I should have expected it, shouldn't I? For them to be in all these secret hidey places like this. Time for another big jump. Wee oh, I heard the springing sound of a jumping head crab. I played well, didn't I, considering my mouse uh, isn't always uh, clicking when I need it to. On with our, on with our um, little ritual of spray painting the watery pearls. So the fans of us. <laughs> Do these keep coming forever, these head crabs? Or will it just be like three of them? Who knows in this oh, 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 oh. you annoying thing. So this is where we were. Let's see what's in this little Hey, there's another head crab in there. Hey, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm not going to fight this again, am I? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not going to use the rocket launcher this time. Oh. Oh, oh no. Don't want you to be chasing me. This time. Back to the order. Oh, you don't like this, do you? Oh, no, he goes like it. Oh, my, how did I end up switching weapons again? Oh, oh they were all jumping in my face. Making me look slightly less pretty with their scratch marks. Oh, it's firing its bodily fluids at me again as well. Kindly refrain from such shenanigans. How did you like that mid-air jumping shot? Not much time to show off though, is there? Come on, 
Come at me, going up, bro. Sis. Come at me, going up, sis. Oh, now we're running again. Oh, yes, we are. We are. Yes. Oh, now the little baby head crabs are coming at me again. Time for, oh, time for us to switch to the beacon to eliminate them. Come on. Oh, they're jumping in my face again. Get out of my face. Any more? Anyway, we've been going on a bit of a long time here. Like about 40 minutes or so. So I'll pause and stop the game for now. And save. Come on, click. Save. And I'll see you all next time, baby dolls. Turn the game off. And catch you on the flip side.